Okay, gonna do a quick unboxing first view video of the small baby beta, which is um, a kind of development frame from Shen Drones. Quite excited to get this. It's been um, on my radar for a little bit, but uh, they've been hard to come by. But um, Andy Shen released another stock into the wild. Um, it's not a cheap frame to get if you're um, in the UK. It's about £26 for the frame, which is not is not expensive at all. But um, postage is around £22, £25 on top of that. Plus I had to pay customs, which was another £12 or £15. So, yeah, it's not been the cheapest one, but um, very keen to uh, get started on it so i'm just gonna have a little look at what's in the box and i'm going to show you what components i'm intending to put on the aircraft that may change as i get a bit further down the line but um for the moment this is what we're going to be working with so yeah interesting to see what's going to be in the box hopefully the shen drones small baby beta Crikey, should have opened this up before, shouldn't I? Well packaged, Andy. Oh my word. Sorry. Okay. So the Shendrones small baby beta. Looks like it's built. Okay, well that's going to take a, um, a lot of work out from my end. Um, so this is a 106 millimeter, two inch propped um, X8 configuration. Yeah, let's look at um, what we've got in the box. Now, I wasn't expecting it to come built, which is nice, I suppose. But um, yeah, let me just grab the scales. Okay, doc. So, all at weight, frame alone. Milliliters. So, 28 grams with a strap, probably won't use that. 32 grams. Cool, okay. Isn't that a tiny little thing? So just compare that with a GoPro in terms of size. Okay, so, so not much bigger than the GoPro itself, although I'm not intending to put um, a full GoPro on there. Intention is to put the naked GoPro on once I've built another one. So that should be a lot smaller. A lot more compact. Now I'm going to build this in an upside down configuration because if I built it um, in a traditional uh, way up then I have issues around the motors uh, touching the ground but if I turn it upside down then that should solve that problem. Battery on top, GoPro somewhere. I'll have to work that out another time. So what have I got on there? We've got two SBC Maker 20 amp 20 by 20 ESCs. Didn't provide a cable for it, so I've put my own in just out of the spares box. We're going to run the Kakute F7 Mini, mainly because it's got six motor inputs on a 20 by 20 uh, footprint. So I'll have to remap motor seven and eight, though um, I think we've Andy's given me some guidance on that. Um, and we can remap two of the uh, tabs or ports on the flight controller to get our eight motors. 
And then as for motors themselves, yes, I've got nine, but um, you live and learn. And I did not want to be in a position where I got this built and then one of the motors was dead on arrival or malfunctions or doesn't work. So these are for 1204s, I believe. It's been a while since I've ordered these. So iFlight Zing 1204, 43, 45, 4500 KV. Yeah, so that's looking all right. Fits the footprint nicely. That's good. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one to uh, wire up. This one, nice little challenge. When I can get time to put it together. So that is a first look at the Shendrones small baby beater. So more to come on that soon. Next up um, will be the wiring and putting together a bit, I suppose. So let's have a look at the thicknesses to start with. So top plate is 1.5 mil, bottom plate 2 mil. And then we've got for each motor 1 mil carbon. So let's have a look at these motor mounts then. These look interesting. So what he's doing here is creating a, a bit of a sandwich and I guess the intention is to only mount the motors using two screws, I would imagine. Don't lose them. No spares. That's um, probably okay, but um, something else to be aware of. Yeah, so two one millimetre carbon fiber and so what you would do is mount the motors with two screws and then mount the whole plate to the arm itself and then I guess the top motor or the opposite motor will be still with two screws but utilizing the two free holes so yeah looking forward to getting this one put together. I am a little surprised it's come built, so thanks Andy, you've saved me a couple of minutes on that. Um, yeah, good, let's um, park this for now, and um, when I've got time we'll um, start putting it together. I'll add it to the list of other things to do. Oh, I'm just on the other components, uh, Eshin 800 milliwatt VTX, and just a FR Sky uh, receiver, which will go with the Nirvana. And I think that's everything we need. Oh, camera should be arriving today, which is just a Cadex EOS 2. And yeah, I think we, oh, so we're gonna have to build a camera mount. So I ordered, you can, I believe, order it with a TPU camera mount. 3D printed, but since I didn't need the GoPro mount that came with it, it's my phone. Paul, I'll call you back. Um, since I didn't need the TPU mount for the GoPro, um, I thought I'd just print my own. And also, I'm not sure how I'm going to figure it, configure it, so it gives us some flexibility. Nice. Okay, well. Um, Thanks for watching this first unboxing, first look at the Shendrones Small Baby Beater. More to come on that soon, hopefully, although at least a week before I can get a chance to um, put this together. What with work and life and children and other projects. I still need to finish the Griffin mount, the invisible 360 mount for three inch well, any any size, um, probably. Uh, Cinewhoops, 
get that finished, get that released, then I will move on to this. I promise. Okay, thanks for watching. See you on the next update.